Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my reaction video to Heavenly Delusion, Tenguk Daimakyo, episode number 10. Last episode, we discovered Tokyo is actually pregnant, and we also reached one of the uh, places that has the mark from our laser gun, and that's it's called Takahala. It's probably a facility that's related to the school facility. And we also met Asura, the very first children who committed a suicide. She is giving me an alien look like vibe. I, I, I don't even know if she's human or not. Um, I guess we're going to dive more into the backstory for the school in this episode. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the episode in 3, 2, 1, now. Huh. The Ward Town. Is that actually a true story? <laughs> Are we taking the car of this guy? The storyteller? Five hours. He is a kid. Ten hours. Two hours earlier. Oh, really? That's a true story? Interesting, that's a twist. Practically in Ibaraki. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, the gun's still here. <laughs> He's knocked out. Oh. <laughs> nope. That's good enough. I didn't expect this character to be this important. Interesting. Don't stand out. What the hell are you doing? Why? Big chest? I'll hate it. Wow. The animation quality changed, or the style. What are you doing? Okay. Nice. <laughs> You look very pretty. Kawaii ja. Huh. 
<laughs> okay. He ran away. School building. Okay, he's only sending those two. The king of hotels, Hotelio. Yeah, there's nobody here. I don't think uh, there's no one, there's anyone living here anymore. It's abandoned. Wreck. Yeah, nobody lives here. Oh, no. There was a monster there, I saw it. Chopsticks. Good sleeping bag. Oh, yeah. Maybe being eaten... Being eaten by the man eater? This... What does this mean? It's so cold. Oh no. The man eater uses the ice? It's a man eater. Ooh. Oh no. What? Somebody save us. Above us? Oh, did, did we actually get it? That was so close. Just somehow, he has a superpower. It's still alive. Oh no, is that a boy? I think that's his son, isn't it? Because he has the same toy on on the arm. The water? She's having a mouthful of water. But how would that help? Is she going to spit on it? Oh. It's doing it. Yeah. The ice bubble. Okay. What does that actually do? Interesting. That's very cool. Ooh, that's very cool. We got it. It's dead. We can't find a core. The other one's the main body. 
Looks like a spider. Yeah. Confirm his safety. Oh, is this the... Okay. Yeah, that's the same thing, the key holder. No women. Aside from the child. Those you hated on, if not even there. Hmm. No, I think that monster is his boy, because the monster has the, the toy. Oh, is it his friend? <laughs> Number 11. 6 and 9. <laughs> Is healthy? What? I thought that's the monster is his um boy. One month. Okay. Try to quiet him. The monster invaded. Oh, okay. Okay, the women died, I guess. Jugo. Nice. Good boy. Okay, a very heartwarming episode. I thought it's going to be a tragedy. Psycho Janaika. Yeah, take his money. Damn. Your welcome party. Oh, Juichi, I finally realized his name is actually Eleven. What is Juich going to do? Okay, we go to the Ibala key facility. You got an idea? Okay. I'm really worried for Juichi. What is what is he what is what is he thinking about? Oh no, what's that sound? Don't tell me the man eater is here. It is actually here. Don't tell me everyone's going to die.
Oh no. There are three. It's just unconscious. Nice, everyone's alive. Stay calm. Where is the man eater? Is she the? A is the man eater actually following her? Why can't you see it? Is this a dream? Oh no. Wait, is this a dream? Okay, the baby. The baby has actually. The baby. The kid is in the Hiruko. The sense the Hiruko's presence. He has the special power. But he is still in human form. Is, she, is he actually doing this unconsciously while he's asleep? Okay, good. He's crying. Oh no. Huh. They can remove the thing. No, that's the baby. That's not going to work, isn't it? That's not going to send her to corner. They're going to monitor this message. Oh, they don't like each other. It will be born soon. What? It will be fine? <laughs> what is this? Cheese? Yogurt? The car? He no longer need a car. Okay, Jugo is... Hmm... What up? See you, bye-bye. We actually left these guys with the the baby having superpower. Oh no, it broke down. <laughs> Run out of the petrol, gas. <laughs> she don't know how to drive. Welcoming your new friend. Very important time. Huh? What does that mean? Fake speech. The fifth years? Who are those? I don't have a good feeling about them. 
What? Don't tell me the children killed every man. I think the children just- this kid just killed every guy. Oh no! That night? The night I escaped. Juiji killed everyone? Why? Ah, he snitched. He snitched. The one who killed the mothers. <laughs> Until next time. Okay, so he killed the guy and ran away with the car. With the children, with a child. Juiji, he ran away with the kid. Damn, I don't have a good feeling about him and his child. See you, bye bye. Huh. This is unexpected, actually. Where is he going, though? Damn. This could be a potentially another foreshadowing for future episodes, you know? Oh, I didn't expect this. This episode is full of surprise, honestly. Ah, uh, I just can't predict what is going to happen next. We know the school timeline or storyline is going to um, converge eventually towards the Great Disaster. And with Kiruko and Amaru, they're probably going to find the Robin and Doctor... By going to the Ibaraki's facility, they're probably going to discover more secrets from the past. And the school has brought another group of um, children into the school. For some reason, it looks very ominous and menacing. Okay, that is episode number 10. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see more. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below about your thoughts on this episode. See you next time. Bye-bye.